In this video, I will set up the ConnectWise PSA and ConnectWise Access Management integration. This integration automatically creates PSA tickets for administrative logon or elevation requests. Techs can respond to those requests directly from the PSA ticket. First, I will configure PSA. In PSA, I navigate to the system module and open the members screen. I then open the API members tab and select the existing Screen Connect member. I now fill out the required fields and select a role ID with the required security access. If there is a reactivation button, I click it. Then I click Save. Next, I open the API Keys tab and click the new icon. I enter a description and click Save. I can now see both the public and private keys. I copy both keys for entry into the Screen Connect integration settings. The private key will be hidden upon leaving this screen, so it's important to record it. Next, I will configure the PSA integration in Screen Connect. I open Screen Connect and navigate to the Administration page and click the Extensions tab. I open the Extension Marketplace and search for PSA. I install the integration. I am then prompted to fill in the integration settings. On the Credentials tab, I enter my PSA URL in the top field. My Screen Connect URL is entered automatically. I enter the company ID I use to log in PSA in the company field. Finally, I copy and paste the public and private API keys from the API member I set up earlier. I test the connection to make sure it's connected to my PSA instance. Next, I click the Settings tab. Here, I can select the features I'd like to enable in the integration. There are settings that are specific to Screen Connect and CAM. I'll review the CAM-specific settings. First, I select CAM Events Should Create Service Tickets. This checkbox must be selected for the Access Management integration to work. Next, I click the drop-down menu to specify the default service board, ticket status, ticket type, and company name of CAM created tickets in ConnectWise PSA. Once I'm done, I click Save. After I configure the integration settings, I navigate to the Advanced tab. Under Web Configuration, I select Settings. I find the same site cookie attribute and set it to None. Then I click Save and Apply. The last step is to add the Access Management pod to PSA. I open PSA and navigate to the service board. I open a service ticket and click an empty pod. I select ConnectWise Access Management from the list and click the top arrow to add it to the right column. Then I click Save. Now when an Access Management request is submitted, a new PSA ticket is created. I can view and respond to the request directly from the ticket. For more information, please check out our university documentation.